Hello everybody, so I just want to show you with you guys uh, my latest project. I got this model of an eagle um, perched on a branch off of the internet. Um, the way I plan to cut this is I'm going to cut the model into um, slices and then I'm going to cut each slice from both sides. So the way I'm going to cut or the software I'm using is Autodesk um, Fusion 360 and ArtCam. Alright, so in Autodesk 360, I'm going to start by creating just a plain sketch. I'm going to select a plane and just create a block around the eagle. Here you can see there's a plane or oh, the sketch runs through the center of the eagle. Alright, let's say for argument's sake, I just want to cut this into two. Um, then I would just go to mesh just make sure it's enabled in your preferences um, I would go to modify and plane cut then it's asking me for the body that I want to cut that would be the eagle then it's asking for the plane that would be the sketch next up it's going to ask me what type of cut I want to do um, I want to split the body in two, so I'm going to select split body and then I'm going to fill it for minimal fill. That's just so that um, it's still a solid um, body when I export it. And I'm going to press OK. Alright, so there you can see it split the body into two. Let's say I want to split it again, then I just simply um, select offset plane, select the sketch and drag it to where I want to make a second cut. Now obviously your cuts is going to be the width of your um, your wood that you're using so you're going to have to improvise a little bit. But yeah, when I finish with all the cuts I'm going to save each mesh as a separate file and then I'm going to go to my profile and then I will just simply download it as an OBG. Alright, so you can right click and save this as an object, but I don't I'm not sure if you can do that directly from a mesh, but you can download it um, directly from your profile as a body. Okay, so after downloading it, I'm going to import it into ArtCam. I'm going to center it. I'm going to change the Z um, value to the thickness of my wood that I'm using. And then I'm going to create a, a vector or a, um, what do you call it? A relief boundary. It's just a, basically a vector that runs around the boundary of the relief. Alright, so my first cut is going to be a profiling cut. Um, I'm going to cut about 25 millimeters deep. My materials are going to be about 60 mils deep. Um, this profile cut, the only reason I'm doing it is to give my ball nose um, some room to move. I don't want, want uh, the end mill to hit the sides and burn the wood. Um, I also don't want to break the end mill. So I'm going to do a profile cut about yeah I think 25 moles will do alright so after doing the profile cuts I'm going to do a rough cut and a finishing cut on the inside of the vectors the reason I'm selecting it on the inside of the vectors is because then any 90 degree drop like here and here the end mill will not cut so it will not cut the, the model completely out of the wood it will only focus on the detail um, if you do not select this, if you just cut it a normal cut and a normal um, finishing cut, then you'll you won't be able to flip it over because then the whole thing is going to be loose. Alternatively, you can use um, what do you call it bridges. You can use bridges. Um, I don't like the bridges, especially not in this this thickness. All right. So after finishing this cut. I'm going to import the exact same model but just flip it 180 degrees. 
there you can see it's exactly the same it's just flipped 180 degrees I'm gonna follow the exact same process as, as the first one but I'm also going additional I'm going to do a, a second uh, profiling cut on the outside of the vectors that will free up the whole thing I'm going to do about 40 moles deep or maybe even 60 moles that should free up the model and it enable me to remove it now the most important thing here is that your thickness that you put into your material setup is exactly the same as the thickness of your actual uh, material the another important thing is your material needs to be perfectly square if you flip it around and your material is not square then it's not going to align perfectly so the, the so your dimensions of your material that needs to be exact that is the, the secret of cutting from both sides uh, if it's not then for each millimeter that you're out you're going to be um, out by two millimeters at the end of the day 